This is part three of a series to introduce the eight thinking maps. I'll be releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. Use the double bubble map to compare and contrast things. Let's compare and contrast two popular PKM tools, Rome and Obsidian. How would you compare Rome to Obsidian? Notice how I use the Obsidian icon from the stencil library and copy-paste the Rome Astrolabe image from the web to use as the other central idea. Well, they both support Markdown, but Obsidian stores information in files in a folder on your computer, while Rome has a Datomic graph database under the hood. They both manage forward and back links between nodes. Rome has a native query language to interrogate your data, while for Obsidian you need to install the DataView plugin to achieve something comparable. Since the release of Obsidian 13, both Obsidian and Rome provide a quasi what you see is what you get editor experience. Obsidian stores your information locally, while Rome stores information in the cloud. Both tools have a very active and friendly community. Obsidian is free, but Rome is subscription based. They can both be extended by installing plugins, but Obsidian has a community plugin store, while Rome does not. You can create block level references in both. However, in Rome, block reference comes more natural because your data is physically stored in the database at the block level, while Obsidian stores your data at the document level. Here's another example. Let's explore the similarities and differences between mind maps and concept maps. They both use simple circles, rectangles, and lines. They both facilitate visual thinking. Both of these can be used in a group or alone. And they are both very versatile and can be used in almost any domain and in many situations. A concept map shows relationships among subconcepts relating to one main concept, while a mind map shows subtopics of a domain in a creative and seamless manner. Concept maps facilitate reflective thinking and mind maps trigger creative thinking. Mind maps are free flowing and fast, while concept maps are more restricted by formal rules and take more time to create. You read a mind map center out and the concept map top down or left to right. Through the double encoding approach, mind maps help memorization, while concept maps are great for understanding complex concepts fast. As you can see, double bubble maps are great for exploring the similarities and differences between ideas and things. This concludes the introduction of the double bubble map. In the next video, I will cover three maps. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when part four is released. Thank you for watching.